Okay, part six. Right, so this is going to probably be a long video. But yeah, so uh, everything's been primed. Um, you can see there's a way better line in there now than there was before. So that's good. Just got a couple of bits to fix up on this front guard. I uh, oh, can't see it, but yeah. Sweet, that's done. So yeah, I'm moving on to here. Bay's nearly sanded. Um, as I showed in the other vid, I removed all the steel bits. Those ones were already gone, so I took those out. Just gonna clean those up. So clean some of that up. Uh, yeah, just trying to get that fucking thing out. <sighs> but yeah, this part six will have that all gone, I'm sure by then. Room's primed. Those dents on this side are gone. I just pray to God I don't remember I marked any others on the other side. Boots primed. So that's good. So now I can mask up my rear window, the chrome, and my niggly bits. Because there's no point removing them. You just leave that shit on there, man. Uh, yeah, so I'll sand all that. Sand all this. And bonnet. I forgot to show this last time, but can't see it because yeah, there's a door open. She looks way better. There's a couple little dents. There's one there. One there I've got to fix up. But yeah, this should block back pretty sweet, I hope. Uh, but all that stuff is gone. Um, so there'll probably be plenty of night filming from there on because there's been a lot of work to do. So yeah. Let's see what I do in the next bit. So yeah, well, um, see I've moved the wagon, so now I've got all that to fucking clean up, man, dents there, this, so I started on this, um, I had to stretch it out, I didn't film it, but yeah, I don't know what the hell has happened to this guard. It was actually all creased in, probably, I don't know, God knows what. But yeah, I stretched it out. It was actually to there, the gap. And I managed to stretch it out. I didn't film it, which I should have. Um, but yeah, basically, you open the door and you put something in there. I used the uh, rubber mat and wedged it in there and then started hammering it kind of folded it out, smashed it in in places, uh, there needs probably a bit more of a bead in because it's actually bulged out, yeah, yeah. but I don't want it too proud from that, but it's actually quite solid, but then it's not there, and these guards are like paper, um, it's funny if you work on Mazdas over the years, the guard's actually quite non flexible, but because it's the original, it's real, real flexy. The other one was way worse. It was just everything you did just folded and out. So, yeah, got that and started here. It's massive ripples in here and in there. So, um, probably gonna take the oh, well, I do I have to take the door cards off. And then I'll try and smack it out. But the problem is that it, it could just keep folding in. Uh, I could heat it up. Try that. But yeah. It's probably going to be easiest to try and fill it. But I'll get most of it out. Because it's actually quite deep. Same with that. It's like. It goes like that. You can probably just see it. See. It's hard out. So yeah. Uh, prep all this. And then I found a couple of dents up here on the roof. So that someone's been sitting on it the arse. Slamming off on it or something. I don't know. Had some weird dents. But that's all done. It's got this and this. So I'm going to get attack these and sand all this first. I uh, finished sanding the boot. Uh, as long as I can get up to that and mask all that off. I can then uh, start laying paint down so the bay is pretty much ready to sand. I mean, sorry, paint. 
I've cleaned all that up. That was pretty mean. Like the doo well to this, it's the freaking man. I have not put any filler in it or anything. And look how mean that is. Oh, Coot Smith, you are the man. So you clean the uh, box up. So now some are probably thinking, hey, oh, yeah, yeah, how come you sprayed them already? Well, in my mind, and for me, it's easier to clean them all up, spray them with zinc. So use chem zinc. I was using CRC, I probably mentioned that a couple of times. And then once I've air painted all in here and start doing my fine. That's a, yeah, so what I'll do is I'll paint on here what's happening in here. Then once I'm onto my detailing with the airbrushing, any overspray that's on them, I just zinc them again. So yeah, there used to be a little bit of overspray and I'll just clean them up. Then the final airbrushing, I can clean them up. So yeah, so even though these look a little bit dirty, the dust actually came out freaking mean which I showed before so yeah all, this is nearly all done I've got a little bit more masking to finish off in here uh, uh, I'll mask all those off those off I've taken all that out so yeah, I've just taken out what I had to take out so yeah it's a bit of a mission that it's supposed to have been but hey I still put in the effort so this is what you get uh, inside is nearly ready. So what I'm gonna do is mask all this off because this has actually been sprayed black. So I'll mask all that off and I'll spray those wells uh, black, and then I'll airbrush those. So yeah, I've got all this of sand. <sighs> oh, doesn't fit in you. But that's all done. Uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do is um, do pinstriping today. This top guard needs another skim, which sucks. So it's actually dented still from here to there. So it's got a big lip. And the thing is that, yeah, the tops have to be mint. you got to do all your tops mint. Everything you see from, you know, there. Um, it doors pretty much straight as I'm bothering to get it spent some mega hours on that just see that and it's going to be the same on the other side of that garden door but yeah and also uh yeah that's about it it's all that's all done so what I'll do is I'll spray down here where I've got some pinstriping to go all the way on there yeah then I'll show you that I'll film uh, masking it and then also my pinstriping is going to come inside the door because you know you might as well go all out make it look classy so we'll go in there uh, just making the tool up to get these out normally after a while these all just pop out but because they're original man I don't know what's up with them like glued in there some muppet Glue the door rubber into the bottom. Actually, yes, I've got all that to clean up. That's not really that bad. It looks terrible, but that's just surface rust again. Fix those holes up. Clean all that up. I'll wire brush all that. So, yeah, but I just really want to get some paint on it. Oh, I'll sand all that back to be metal. I'll probably cover that. But, yeah, so what I'll do is put my fine line on, pinstriping. Sand some more of the bay, sand top of there, do those bog patches, uh, dents over there. So when I spray, I'll cover as much as I can. And then uh, I want to get all the way around here, all the way to there. Then I can um, focus on all this and be a couple of steps behind, a few steps forward. So yeah. Let's get ready for some uh, some painting action. So that's been cleaned up, and gap looks a little bit better. Looks more like the other side. Usually big gaps once they're original. So yeah, we got that done. I've got that done. Sorry, 
ground all that out. So yeah, pull it in and get into this. We'll see how that looks afterwards. Boom. Alright, so uh, now I'm going to put on some uh, gold for the pinstriping. Now, yeah, so this is going to be painted pinstriping. So I'll just give it a quick run. Now, what's happening here? Now, I've made it quite thin. Spraying it on. This is a mess. I need to clean this up before I put this color on. So I know my print stopping through here. I've got low pressure. So I don't need it blasting for the mines. And uh, what I'll do is so as I said, it's going to go through the doors because your muzzle will make it look fucking sick, eh, mate? Oh, the door open. Yeah, I haven't climbed any of those, so what I'll do is I'll end up uh, making sure all that is covered. I do need a mask in here, but I haven't done it yet. I'm spraying quite a big area because I want to make sure I don't miss anything. So it'll take a few coats. As I said, I've made it quite thin. Because it's metallic. Now you can tell I made it thin because it's kind of wax up. So what I might do is actually um, put this down. Oh, and here you can make it a little bit thicker. So why I'm spraying it so big is because I want to make sure when I um, mask it, I don't miss anything. So yeah, I could crank the air up, which will probably make it a little bit thicker, so I'll do that here. So cranking the air up will uh, make it more paint. Not more paint, it was just uh, more air than putting it on wet. You can see it's starting to darken up. I just don't want it on thick because um, I thought it like blend the next colour once I've masked all this out. So. I'll let that dry. I've got a base now. I will make it a little bit thicker because that's up here all freaking day. I ain't got the time. So we'll put a pause on here. Okay, boom. So I made it a little bit thicker. See how this goes. Oh, I should spray in there. No, no push button going there. What am I doing? So once the thinner, the previous paint's come out, just try and blow it dark. Here we go. So it is gold, it looks like it's brown, but it's gold. It should uh, cover all this now. There we go. Put one more coat inside there. So make sure I don't knock anything over. Running up here 
saw is some cranks of the gum. build up so basically that's um, what I do now when I mask it it's gonna be like the smallest areas but this is to be safe that I don't get multi different color changing for it so I'll let the compressor build up and then I will uh, finish that off so all right so here yeah, clean my gun out so yeah that's a uh, gold even though it's brown, but it is gold. It's in the sun. It should go bling bling, but yeah, there's not going to be much. <laughs> it's going to be fine lined. So what I'll do is I'll let that dry. Uh, fully dry, probably give it an hour or so. Uh, might give it a little scuff back. Um, I'll see how it dries off. But yeah, it's in the door, so you can see that it's gold. So yeah. Pinch driving will come all the way in there. So what I'll do is I'll show you once uh, that's all dry, give it a scuff. I mean, I'll see how it dries. I might give it a scuff, it's a bit ugly there. And then I will uh, show you on pin striping, and then we'll start laying some uh, colour down. Let's see how this mother trucker goes, eh? So I'm just giving it a wet, quick wet sand now. Now all I'm doing is got a really old sanding disc. That I've used, and I'm just getting the uh, anything that's any imperfections that's sitting on top. So that's all I've done. Just gave it a wipe over, and it'll be sweet. So I've done all that already. So now I'll pretty much will dry it off, wipe it down, and then uh, lay my fine line down. We'll see how that goes. So. Well, fine line, you get uh, two different types. I probably did it in the um, helmet video. But this is a more flexible fine line, uh, 3M. So you can do curves and stuff like that. The one I'm using on this is a hard line. So you get straighter lines. Uh, don't try and use that blue stuff. <coughs> it just ends up being, you spend ages trying to um, smash your fine line out. But yeah, I'll show laying this down. Uh, it'll be in fast mode because it'll take up so much space for this video. And because after this, I want to lay color and have some footage for that. So here we go.
actually doesn't take that long. Um, so what I've done is laid my first line down. And once you've got it straight enough, um, then you can run your hand along it. So what you normally do is you, you lay it down at one end and then you'll look down the side to be sure it's kind of you know, in shape now because the windows actually go up it will look like it's not straight but it is so if I go from back here you can see the line is pretty straight so what I'll do now is actually cut it off and I'll put another line in here so then once you do that you can put your next line up off that so it's even and then it saves heaps of time so I'll do that then once I've done all this I'll then add tape here and then push it into the doors and the same with here it's just so that you get your a straight line and you can worry about your inserts afterwards so I'll put that line in now and I'll show you what it looks like in the end all right so you can see that there's three layers so I've got all of them down oh you're all the way down but you make sure you put a good firm push on your line too because um it will start separating if you don't do it properly and also when you so see when I take this off bang I've got my two lines masked that I want gold so what I'll do with this excess is use it on the other side so I don't waste anything but also I'll use some to do inside the doors so what I'll do is I'll just put that there but you get the gist so it'll be all the way along there so I'll just do inside these doors and then that's all done so that's my painted fine line so everything I've painted, I mean I've masked, will all be gold. Then all the rest will be uh, airbrushed and painted, etc. But she should look pretty snappy, snazzy I should say. Um, but yeah, today I'll be laying down some colour as far as I can go. Just so we can get the gist of uh, how this is going to look. Um, still a hell of a lot of prep to go. But hopefully I'll get all the way down here. Uh, I do need to fix this top panel. It has a big dip in it still. So I'll do that next. And I'll just finish uh, sanding that stuff of the bay. Nearly got all in there done. Uh, such a mission. So I've got to mask the Vintag. Mask these towels out. Try and remove that. That one came out sweet. That one has been a son of a gunt. Uh, yeah, mask that. So, and then you can see I've cleaned those up so they're all filled in. Blow this out, and then so when I paint, I can come all the way over, all the way to here. Uh, and those uh, headlight bezel along the valance. Then I'll stop, I'll stop in the bay along here because then I can blend over. Uh, with this paint job I should be able to do it just finish these top bits <sighs> do this so yeah I'll try and get all this sanded as well but yeah really mainly the goal today will be to uh, panel all these bits get them finished get these dents out uh, so the whole roof can be painted right over uh, tailgate and here and I can stop because then I'll know where to blend continue the paint work so yeah, it's been a bit of a mesh, but yeah, and I'll do it inside of the doors, I think will last. Once I've got this main colour on, then I'll focus on sanding them, getting rid of that surface rust, etc. But yeah, we're on a, yeah, just need to move ahead. Uh, I could spend hours and hours, you know, continuing the panel and stuff like that. But as I said, you can hide a lot of stuff with airbrushing, but it's the tops. Again, got to be mint. So yeah, all that standard. Just finish this roof and what I said before, starting to repeat myself. <laughs> and uh yeah, finish cleaning this bonnet up, see it looks way better now. <coughs> Just a few dents that had to be filled in. 
but that can be afterwards. So yeah, let's get this bad boy on a frickin' roll. Right, let's get some colour down, huh? See what's going on here. <coughs> I'm thinking, what's going on here, man? Have to clean the old camera. Again, using the spray gun. Doors are pulling in. What I need done. So again, this is all out of my head. I figured out what's going on. See, I was going to set the camera up so you can see it from far away, but I just really wanted to get this fucking colour down, so. Now why I haven't masked that window out is because I've got to do the inside as well, so all gun control at the moment. And as you probably figured, I don't know, I'm sure you'll know what's going on. Okay, so I've got the two uh, main colours locked down. <coughs> no worry. There's more. So you can see I did the brown over and then I clean it up with the green on the edge to get a bit of a sharper thing. It's all done with a spray gun, so this is just the beginning. Don't you worry. Okay. Starting in here. You think you know what it is? Massive. You wait till this bad boy's finished. Hey? Okay.